is everybody, and I mean everybody not talking about Fenty. Girl, it's on everybody's minds, lips, on YouTube, all over YouTube. And I know that a lot of you guys requested a review of Fenty Beauty and I'm finally so happy. I've collected all the products that I wanted to review. So thank you for being so patient with me. Now, before we dive in and talk all about Fenty Beauty, I just wanna say to those of you guys that are new to my channel and you like beauty reviews, hauls, tutorials, all that good stuff, go ahead and subscribe. I do upload three times a week, so if that sounds like something that's good to you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, get notifications, girl, because you don't want to miss an upload. And to all my oldie but goodie subbies, hey girl, it's nice to see you again. So, I've literally stocked up, stocked up, girl, on Fenty Beauty. Look, I'm just gonna be real. I love Rihanna and I couldn't be happier that she came out with a line that really is supposed to represent everybody um, from dark skin tones to fair skin tones everything and um, from what I've heard her products are bomb.com so I was like you know what I need to get myself in on some of these products as well because I don't like to miss out I get a serious case of FOMO when it comes to makeup okay so the first product that is hot on everybody's lips is the Fenty Beauty foundation now this is supposed to have a soft Soft, matte kind of finish. I got my receipts so I could tell you guys all the prices. This one is $34. So I chose the shade 430. Um, it was really hard, honestly. I went in stores, I swatched three different shades. I swatched 420, 430, and 440. 440 was pretty, well, it was darker, and it's also a little bit more red than I am. 420, which I also got a sample of, I have it sitting right in front of me. And actually, you know what, let me go ahead and do a little swatch comparison for you guys so you guys can see the difference between those two. And um, 430 is a lot more like golden undertoned. Now, I did watch other people's reviews, so I was prepared and I knew that it does oxidize darker. So if it goes on and it's a little bit lighter on me, I think that's gonna be fine with all my powders. I can fix it. I'm not worried about it, but I'd rather get lighter and have it oxidized to be darker than get my complexion and have it look way more darker than me later on in the day. Does that make sense? Next up is the Matte Stick Trio. And now this is the most expensive product in the whole collection. This is $54. So yes, yes, it's breaking banks, breaking bank accounts. But you do get three products. You get the contour stick and espresso. You get the um, highlighting stick in, let's see, suede. And then you also get the highlighter in cinnamon. They all look really, really, really beautiful. Then we have the blotting powder here. Now this retails for $32. And it comes with this little, you know, whatever. It's not a brush, it's like a little pad to dot your powder on there. And the powder actually looks white in the pan, but when you go ahead and blend it out, it's actually translucent, so I can't wait. Um, it's not supposed to have any flashback at all. Next up, we've got the star of the collection, the Fenty Beauty Highlighter in Trophy Wipe. I mean, you guys. Like, look at it. I've seen pictures all over Instagram of everybody just looking popping with this so i can't wait to be glowing later on today this retails for 34 dollars at sephora so um i mean honestly you need so little of it i can imagine it really lasting a long time then last but not least the fenty beauty lip gloss and this is probably the most inexpensive product it's 18 dollars it seriously looks beautiful on everyone that i've seen wear this so i feel like you know, if you're not sure about anything, at least get the gloss, you can always start there. Starting off, I'm gonna prime my face using my Tarte Clean Slate Primer. Also, in my oily areas, I'm going to put my e.l.f. Mattifying Balm in my T-zone, and then I'm gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes before I apply the foundation. Okay, so when I read the directions, they said to shake this up 
really well. Now I'm gonna apply this to the back of my hand. Oh, first of all, I wanna talk about the packaging. It's really nice. It's made out of some type of glass material or faux glass and this cap and also the pump is like a plasticky kind of material so you can wipe it off and clean it off really easily which I like because I'm a little bit messy with my makeup when I'm putting it on so I like that you're able to clean it easily. I'm going to go for two pumps. This is what it looks like. Remember it does oxidize so we're going to see what this looks like when it's just first applied and then what it looks like after it's oxidized a bit. So far, I really, really love the finish. It looks like it's about medium coverage, but it seems like it's buildable. It does have a bit of a fragrance to it too, but I like it, it's really subtle. And it does cover up, I have like a big zit here, it easily covers up the pigmentation there, so that's nice. Wow, and actually this is the first time that I've blended out foundation down my neck and it actually changed the color. My neck is significantly darker than my face and my chest area, so I'm really surprised. So before I even set this, before I move on, I wanna give you guys my first impressions of just the foundation. I love how easy it blends out. I love the pigmentation. I feel like it's like medium coverage, but buildable to full. And it definitely covers up pigmented spots. Like I have that big breakout here that now that I tilt it, you can see it, but pigment wise, it's covered up and I didn't even need to correct it or use an orange corrector or anything like that. I think it's fabulous. Um, this does tend to look a little bit orange on me, but you know, I'm gonna hold out and wait until it actually oxidizes to see the true, true color. But when it first went on, it did look really orangey. But other than that, I mean, look at this finish. like. It is a true matte foundation, not just says it's matte, you know what I mean? So now I want to move on to the Matchstick Trio. So I want to go in with Suede to highlight and see what the pigmentation of this particular stick is. I mean, you can't even see my dark circles anymore because of the foundation, which is fabulous. <laughs> I mean, I'm not mad at that at all. So let's see in what this looks like with it. So. First off, I'm gonna say that these sticks are definitely dry. That's what it feels like on my face. Like I kinda have to like tug at my skin and I definitely don't like tugging at my eye area. But I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I definitely don't believe this is supposed to act as a true concealer, but I wanna try my best not to use any other products. I just wanna stick with Fenty Beauty so you guys can really see how this acts. But I think normally I would use a concealer under this and use this to just highlight the area. Now to contour, I'm gonna use Espresso. And I'm hoping that this is not too dark. I mean, it is really, really, really dark, which is good for my chocolatey, chocolatey, chocolatey brown girls, but um, let's see. Ooh, this isn't bad at all. This is actually pretty nice. So this one, it looks nice, but it's a bit harder to blend out. You gotta like push it, you know what I mean? To blend it, you gotta push it back. I'm actually going to switch to a Morphe uh, R8 and see how this does. So I can brush it nice and easy into my hairline. Get on my jaw. See, to me this looks a lot nicer because I can brush it in the direction that I want it to blend. But you look guys, I mean it looks really nice. Now, this is the highlighter Cinnamon, and I'm going to swatch it for you guys right next to the cream, like, concealer thingy. And this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to put it right over here. It's definitely creamy. I'm going to take my fingers and just kind of, like, blend that in. Now, I'm going to put Trophy Wife on top of this later, so I don't need to, like, go ham, you know what I mean? 
So moving on to powder, I'm going to set everywhere where I put cream products with this Invisible Blotting Powder. And I'm going to use my Kat Von D brush. I'm just going to dab it under my eyes to set that cream product. Wow. I mean, look guys, like it doesn't even look white-ish or cakey. It literally is like filtered skin. I'm really actually very surprised at how well these products work together. And I'm gonna set my whole face with this just so you guys can see what it looks like. I mean, damn. Like it looks pretty damn good. And I'm pretty sure that I could go out like this, but I do want to add my own face powders and just kind of like blend some of this contour because it is a bit strong for my taste, but you know, it might work for you guys. So let me go ahead, finish up the rest of my powders, and then we will get to talking about this highlight. Okay, so I'm back. I added a little bit of face powder and some eyeshadow, and I've also used my eye primer from Smashbox. You guys, now that the colors changed a bit, does it not look beautiful? I mean, I didn't use a lot of other face powders. I used mainly the Invisible uh, face powder that you guys saw me use, and I used one from MAC just to like even up my contour, but I mean, come on, like look at this. So it definitely does oxidize. The finish is beautiful in person. I feel like I have one of those like Snapchat like blurring filters on my face. Um, this could be my new favorite. So moving on, I wanna talk about the Trophy Wife Highlight. And I've been seeing a lot of people use this as eyeshadow. And I figured, why not try the same thing? You know what I mean? So, oh. Just in case you're wondering, the transition shade is from the Sweet Peach Palette. I'm gonna grab a flat shadow brush and get going with this. So I've got a brush from Jelly Pong Pong. Um, this is really pigmented when I swatch this, like no joke. So I'm dusting off excess. It's really pretty. I think next time what I'll do is I'll put a yellow base underneath to really make the yellow pop, but I mean, I'm not mad at it. It looks beautiful. And I'm pretty sure that we all want to see what this looks like as a highlight. Okay, so I saw people on every kind of video going ham with this highlight. I feel like the secret to this is to just take your brush, dab, and then go slowly. So let's build up slowly. Ooh. See, this actually looks beautiful. Like, you just need a light hand. Ever so light. That is really, really pretty. So, I had to go ahead and put on some liner and some lashes, but now I'm back. I'm ready to try the gloss. I decided that I want to take some MAC Chestnut and line my lips because I just feel like this is going to give this look a more like polished kind of vibe, you know? Now it's time for the lovely, lovely gloss. Also, I don't want to get the little applicator dirty with the liner color, so I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand and use my fingers. It looks so cute. I love it. Mmm, 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 mmm. You guys, it smells like watermelon and strawberry kiwi like it just makes your lips smell delicious and it makes them look hella juicy too <laughs> okay so my first impressions are that I love everything I love everything but you know what I can't give you my like firm go ahead and two thumbs up because we gotta see how this wears so yeah uh, the next time you see me, I'll be a little bit more polished, my hair will be put together, and I will come back and I'll give you guys an update. What up guys? So, this is my final check-in. I've been wearing this specific foundation and makeup for about seven and a half hours, almost seven and a half. Now, as far as the way things look, I mean, the foundation is gorgeous, you guys gorgeous I took some photos so you guys could see what this looks like out in daylight and it is absolutely breathtaking it really has more of a flawless 
photo blur kind of look and in person it also looks the same way as far as wear I did find that you know about the halfway mark maybe the four hour mark my face got a bit oily and I did touch it up with the uh, blotting powder their invisible blotting powder and it just made it look like my makeup was like fresh again it didn't look cakey it just soaked up all those oils and like I said it looked fresh so I just kind of wanted to show you guys I mean I know I don't look too oily right now but I just want you to see how this works first of all after reapplying this blotting powder and my brush you know like definitely it's got some color on it from the previous makeup that I had used earlier in the day but the blotting powder doesn't change like it stays white and you can put it right here and all that oil is gone it truly is amazing it and now I just look like like fresh like I just put my makeup on again um, I will say that there is minor minor separation around my laugh lines it's not a lot but I just want to warn you guys some of you guys that do have really like you know apparent laugh lines just be sure not to apply too much foundation in that area otherwise you will see some creasing I also took a video for you guys um, just to see how this makeup looks in action so you can tell like I didn't edit the photos or anything uh, this is just what the video looks like and girl when that light hits you and trophy wife is on that cheekbone I mean, you just look all kinds of golden, glowy, dewiness. Like, Rihanna just, look, she didn't come to play at all. Um, one of the things that I will say is, initially when Trophy Wife goes on, it is very like, blow, like in your face. I think that you definitely need to have a light hand with this. Like, please, don't go ham, don't go streaking it across your face, just blah 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 and you're good just just a little bit of dab a little bit a dab <laughs> um, however I will say that as the day goes on and your natural face oils just kind of like work with your setting spray and everything it definitely like kind of gives it that like natural like golden sheen so I mean it's noticeable but it's not as like intense as when you first put it on I would say it just definitely tends to like work better with your makeup and your skin tone and all that stuff. However, I will say, Trophy Wife is a very glittery highlight. It's got the glitter chunks, and that's what Rihanna wanted. She wanted those flecks of glitter in there. If you're somebody that likes a sheen, like that natural sheen type of highlight, like the Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion, that kind of stuff, um, this is not going to be it for you. But I will say that the other highlights when I was in store, I got to swatch them and they are less intense than Trophy Wife, so they're not as pigmented. So if you're more of a simple kind of person, simple like highlight, then that's going to be really good for you. Um, I got Trophy Wife specifically because, I mean, ugh, look at this. I don't have anything like this in my collection. I wanted something different, something that was like blow little pop of that golden on your cheekbone um, I just figured for this review it wouldn't make any sense to get something that I normally get you know but I will say that after swatching the other highlights they are very beautiful they are less pigmented than trophy wipes so you know that way you can make your own decision now I'm talking about these three little contour kits I uh, really liked suede so initially putting it on the skin it went on it felt really dry and I didn't like that I had to like tug my skin in that area because I don't want to be tugging under my eyes but I felt like the actual foundation provided sufficient coverage to where it's not even like my dark circles were like you know even apparent really so I only needed a little bit of that coat to just highlight the area um, but I mean look at it it's very natural it's not like 
awkwardly like too light uh, so this color the highlighting color was suede and um, I just you know I ordered the matchstick trio so I found that the suede color was going to be best for my skin tone and with it came espresso and I like espresso but because I didn't add like a powder highlight I mean I feel like it's a little bit too stark of a contrast for me some of you guys may look at it and feel differently and I feel like I made it work with my face powders. I mean it is still really pretty but it is more of a darker contour color than I would normally use so I feel like for me I would need to add a powder contour on top of that to blend it together but for the purposes of this video I just like kept it the way that it is but it's fine you know and I also really like cinnamon this one uh, the little highlighting stick. I also swatched the color rum in stores and it was also really pretty but I feel like cinnamon was just different than what I have in my collection. Rum was a more like you know classic golden highlighting stick color. Um, I find that once these like highlighting stick cream things are blended out they definitely look more natural so it was really nice to just dot uh, trophy wife on top of it that give it that extra like room kind of like <laughs> pop you know also the gloss you guys is popping I mean it is absolutely beautiful I do find that it is similar to the dose of colors over the top gloss the only thing is over the top has gold reflex and the Fenty lip gloss has like pink uh, reflex in it so I mean it just depends you can't really tell that much but they're both beautiful and I feel like they both work with very like um, you know any any kind of lip shade basically you know what I mean you're not gonna have a problem there isn't anything that looks bad with it so I think you can wear it alone you can wear it with a lip liner on top of your favorite lipstick however you want to rock a girl you could do it so Personally, I just want to say, you guys, Fenty Beauty gets two thumbs up from me. Um, I feel like I just don't want to wear any other foundation, any other highlight, anything else. I just want to wear Fenty Beauty, which is so weird because I am really, really picky and I always want to give you guys the good and the bad, but I feel like I don't have, like, that much bad to tell you guys and the stuff that I am picking out is like really like nitpicky just so that I can tell you guys that are very particular you know what to look out for but honestly I think Rihanna hit it out of the park she gave us something you know it's about time we needed something really 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 bad and I'm happy to give my coins to her so if you guys have tried Fenty Beauty, please let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments, of course. <laughs> and um, please leave any video suggestions down in the comments as well. Don't forget to check out some of these videos if you want to take some time and chill with me some more. And don't forget, I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.